the second ATP Masters 1000 tournament of 2016. And the tour has moved from California to Florida. The Crandon Park Tennis Center, our host for the Miami Open, presented by Itaú. Miami Beach, baby. With four Miami titles in five years and fresh from another tournament victory in Indian Wells, Novak Djokovic is in the form of his life. The world number one close to unbeatable as he defends his Miami title. Coming back to a tournament where I've done so, um, so good and, and uh, where I was so successful in, in my career, especially in 2007, which was at the time my biggest uh, trophy, it feels great, it feels right, um, uh, these memories and I try to always relive them when I'm on the center court. Miami though will see the Serb sensation face a tougher lineup with Andy Murray bruised from a third round knockout in California and ready to repeat a second title in Florida on a venue as familiar as Wimbledon center court. I'm hoping that um, you know getting to Miami, familiar surroundings, conditions that I like here, I'll be able to, to play some, some better tennis this week. But I do like it here, I have a, an apartment here and I uh, spent a lot of time training on the courts um, at the venue so I'm hoping that it works out well for me. The world number four, Stan Vavrinka, meanwhile, may have won two titles in 2016, but his form remains inconsistent at the sport's biggest tournaments. It's always, always a, a tough tournament to play. Uh, you can see every year. Uh, for myself, I'm, I'm focused, trying to be ready. Uh, never played some, some of my best tennis here, so hopefully I can do it this year. Japanese number one Kei Nishikori hasn't yet hit the red hot form he's shown in recent years in 2016, and the Florida resident is well aware that the Miami field is more competitive than ever. It's going to be a tough tournament, you know. Uh, Roger came back, and it's good to good to have Roger always. And uh, you know, Andy lost early last week, so he's going to you know push himself for sure. And uh, I, you know, I always uh, play good here, so I hope I can you know get into you know semi-final or final. The first round action got up and running on Wednesday and it was a positive day for some of the younger stars. Alexander Zverev saw out a tight contest against fellow 18-year-old Michael Moe. After reaching the fourth round in Indian Wells, the German star is looking good to maintain a strong form. British number three Kyle Edmund, meanwhile, also survives to round two. The 21-year-old claiming his first victory after three attempts in Miami with a three-set victory over Yuri Vesli. Game set up at Edmund. Two sets to one, six, four, five. And the future of American tennis appears to be in good hands with Taylor Fritz also victorious against Simone Bellelli. The 18-year-old setting up a second round okay, clash against David Ferrer with this straight set victory. Six, four, six, two. And late on centre court, the promising comeback of Juan Martin Del Potro remained on track, with the tower from Tandil seeing off his compatriot Guido Pella. Six love, seven six, the final score that sets up a mouth-watering second round tie against Roger Federer. Known success here in Miami before. Juan Martín del Potro and another bid for the comeback. 366 in the world takes out his fellow Argentine Guido Pella, the top-ranked player from their nation, and does so in straight sets. It's fantastic for me. I didn't expect this moment after 11 months uh, without without competitions, and I'm so happy to go. To, to still improving, to keep working and to keep playing tennis, you know, I miss all of these things when I was at home trying to fix the wrist and now I'm here, my present is so good and I'm looking forward to, to improving my future. The first round continues on Thursday in Miami and we'll hear from Roger Federer on his return to action and a resurgent Rafael Nadal.